The Second World War was characterized, among other things, as a period of great technological leaps for humanity, especially in weapons. Although this conflict outlined the vehicles and projectiles that humanity would use in the future of warfare, there were some very curious experiments that were either discovered decades later due to their high level of classification, or were so outlandish that they were not never used. Join us in a new episode of Military History to learn about the seven strangest weapons of World War II. In the seventh place we find one of the experimental vehicles of the Nazis. There are many rumors about the possible technological developments that Hitler's scientists carried out, such as flying saucers, supersonic planes, or giant armored trucks. But the wacky Kubel Panzer war tank wasn't just a crazy idea, it was actually made. This unique tank is known as the Ball Tank, and is one of the most mysterious Nazi artifacts to survive the war in Europe. Little or nothing is known for certain about the Kubel Panzer and most known data arose from hypotheses after the date of its creation. The only prototype of this strange tank was found by the Soviets, in an abandoned state and with a completely bare interior. It became clear that the Nazis had destroyed and removed all navigation elements, as well as weapons, to prevent the technology from being discovered. Due to its size, it is evident that it was an armored vehicle for a single operator, since its height is that of a person standing. However, the Kubelpanzer, despite signs of German manufacture, was found in Manchuria, where it was apparently used as a reconnaissance tank by the Japanese army. Perhaps one day the details of the existence of this weapon will be discovered, more similar to a ball for rodents than to a battle tank. In sixth place in the ranking is the Zilgerat 1229, also known by its codename, Vampir. It was an active infrared night vision device for sniper rifles. This system allowed for clearer targeting on evening watches, and was primarily used as an attachment for the Sturmschwer 44 assault rifle. The ZG-1229 was battle-tested in 1944, and, near the end of the war, entered service en masse, with the deployment of 310 Wehrmacht sniper systems. The soldiers armed with the Vampir were known as the Night Hunters, or Nachtjagger. The system itself was made up of a scope, an infrared sight, a flashlight and a battery, which alone weighed 13.5 kilograms. The sniper was also wearing a backpack, connected to the ZG-1229, which had another battery and a gas mask with a built-in infrared sight. Its entry into service, towards the end of the war, led to its use being extended only on a few battlefronts, and the system was soon abandoned. There are those who say that, despite the cost and difficulty of its manufacture, it was very successful in night campaigns, and the Wehrmacht hoped to also implement it in the MG-34 and MG-42 machine guns. Although it fell into oblivion, the Vapor was ahead by more than one decade to current infrared systems. In fifth place we find one of the cruelest experiments on this list. During Operation Barbarossa, Hitler launched an impressive number of tanks against Soviet territory, and the Red Army was greatly outmatched by the Nazis' motorized capabilities. One of the solutions found by the Soviets was to train dogs that could carry high-impact explosives, thus destroying German armor without exposing the soldiers. Initially, the plan was to instruct the canines to approach their targets, drop the bombs, and then walk away. But they never achieved this. So they simply replaced the devices with impact explosives, which meant that the dogs would die as they approached their targets. Of course, this practice had a huge margin of error, since many times the animals ran towards the Soviet lines and not against the German tanks. However, the brutal system was also very effective, and the Soviets continued to train bombed dogs well into the 1990s. The Americans also trained dogs to test this system against the Germans in the Pacific, but these were never deployed in combat. The disgusting device that occupies fourth place is nothing more than the use in war of an old children's toy, the mythical stink bomb, a liquid chemical that emits a terrible smell of feces and flatulence where it falls. The British Special Operations Directorate considered using this child resource as a weapon of psychological warfare. 
The idea was to use a spray on the clothing of German and Japanese officers, to infuse them with an unbearable stench of garbage and thus generate discomfort in both superiors and subordinates. According to a British official, the experiment would work, as the air in any ordinary public meeting room is generally odor-free, so almost any strange odor that cannot be easily explained would arouse suspicion that could cause panic. Later, the Americans developed their own stink bomb, called who? Me, as code name. Entering the podium, we find in third place one of Hitler's marvelous weapons, or Wunderwaffen. It became known as Germany's wind cannon and used chemicals to shoot a strong blast of steam into the sky. The idea of this curious wind gunner was to shoot down the Allied heavy bombers, but while tests with wooden planks and light aircraft were successful, the wind gun was never field tested, surviving only as an extravagant legend in the Nazi arsenal. Second place is occupied by an extremely bizarre piece. We all know about the Manhattan Project, which resulted in the two atomic bombs that devastated Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But less known is the project prior to this, which was never used. American engineers created a plan straight out of a science fiction comedy. They would drop cluster bombs on Japan, but instead of explosives, there would be bats inside. Yes, the idea of the United States was to launch millions of bats in metal cartridges on Japanese cities. In this way, the small mammals would infiltrate every home and nest on the roofs. But that was not all. Each bat would carry a small container loaded with napalm, a dangerous fuel, attached to its leg. The original idea was to burn down all of Japan with this method. An effective test on this insane device was carried out in the US, and it was so uncontrollable that the base ended up on fire. In the first place we find an extremely dangerous and sinister device. We are talking about the Yokosuka MXY-7, better known as the Oka Flying Bomb. As it sounds, it was a huge projectile that was piloted by a Japanese kamikaze aviator. The aircraft itself consisted of a huge explosive warhead and a three-stage rocket. Although it had great speed, its range was very short, so it had to be used as a parasitic aircraft that did not take off on its own but was carried by a larger aircraft, such as a bomber, which dropped it into the area where the target was located. The Oka saw action late in the war, in the last fighting in the Pacific. These piloted missiles mainly shot down sailing ships, although in one case they managed to sink an American destroyer, the USS Manardable. Despite this, they did not achieve the success expected by the Japanese High Command, for which they quickly fell into disuse. Thank you very much for joining us until the end. Stay tuned for our next video.